In the fickle world of finance, a steady hand is key. With zero pounds poured into zero profitable startups, the hunt for a new festival partner is about to recommence. Ready to battle for backing? Nine would be tycoons. I mean, I'm not even exaggerating when I say that I could eat a can of Alphabetti spaghetti and shit out a better plan than any of these clowns. I've got the energy of the Duracell Bunny, the sex appeal of Jessica Rabbit, and the cunning of Bugs Bunny. I'm definitely gonna win. <laughs> On offer? 300 pounds investment. I'm not a one trip pony. I'm not even a 10 trip pony. I've got a whole field of ponies and they're charging right towards this gig. Fire, lightning, a bear on steroids. I am the winner. Facing them, the fight of their lives. Oh, I'm confident I'm gonna win. Some money on this scratch card. I won't be even lucky. I am the best. All you need to know that I am on fire 24 7 is to look at my hair. I wake up in the morning and oh shit. Perfection. But first, a bit about me. Putting up the cash, Lord Alan Sugar. Three hundred pounds is an acorn that will grow into a great oak tree. With two years at the top, today worth more than one pound and ninety-nine pence. I started wheeling and dealing out the back of a van as soon as the umbilical cord was cut when I came out the womb, and that's what I'm looking for here. Someone who's just as committed as me. But to secure his support. A punishing selection process. Testing tasks. Seven tough weeks. But for one candidate, a life-changing opportunity. Supply and demand. That's what this is about. I demand the answers and you supply them. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Midday. The boardroom. Nine hopefuls hand in their festival ideas. Good morning. I want you all to find a section or play to put on for my company HSU Theatre. The event is called Festival and will be held from the 14th to 16th of April 2016. For your first task, I want you all to find the best set of props for the cheapest prices. Off you go. Before battle begins, a chance to sell themselves. So, what is game night? <laughs> what is game night? What is it? It what is isn't game night? A romance. Amazing. Comedy. It's like a shining, shimmering. The drama section of festival is basically a collection of dramatic scenes from a variety of different platforms and eras. We've got a bit of Bronte, a bit of Game of Thrones. It's got murder, betrayal, a bank robbery, everything. It's the f***ing gig. Seriously, it's going to be awesome. My idea is about a play called Hard to Swallow by Mark Wheeler. Hard to Swallow is about Catherine Dunbar and her and her family's battle with anorexia nervosa. Me and my co-directors, which weren't dedicated enough to be here, are going to be directing the comedy section. It's going to include sketches from Hugh and Laurie, The Two Ronnies and The Mitch and the Web Show. So, it's guaranteed to make you giggle your socks off. So if you like to giggle, or don't like wearing socks, then come and see it, and you'll look like this. <laughs> My idea is Bang Bang You're Dead by William Mastrosimo. It's a place set in the wake of a school shooting by gun obsessed Josh, and the victims appear as ghosts demanding answers for his actions as he also relives the build up to the massacre. I should be project manager. I've been a part of this society for five years. I've, had, I've got the most experience out of any. Uh, no, uh, I should be project manager actually because I am the president you know, of this How about group. project managers? There's two of us. Uh, two people are better than one. That, that aside, what are we going to call the team? Bang. Swallow. Game. Night. Hang on, swallow game. Boom. And what, hang on, yours is play, yours is play. Mine's a play. Mine's a play. The plays? The plays. The plays. The plays. The plays. The plays. Play. Play. Right, so I've been thinking about it, I've got the experience, I've got the look, I've got everything. I think I should be the project manager. See, I disagree, I don't think I should be project manager, I'm not really good for the role. Oh, for God's sake! Right, okay, let's just decide on the name. Well, I personally think it should be Flux. Oh, oh, that's a you thing. I don't think the life is going to pay for this. Second, oh, the the I summon the fish of the on chemicals. You should be sectioned. I love that. Sections. F***ing sections. 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 
You haven't contributed anything. Not contributed? What no. world have I not contributed? I bought this today, out of budget. No, you spent over the budget. Oh, don't give me that talk. Fuck, it's like it's one item in particular. <laughs> turn it off. I said turn it off! What I got? The chief as well. What fresh hell is that? I didn't say we'd make a profit. I said have fun. What? How did you get here? I hope to God, Lord Sugar, sends you home. I mean, it's better. Better! Yeah, put it in the fair. Hey, at least I got this cheap. Hey, hang on, that's mine. What? <laughs> ah! I am fed up with these hooligans of being Alan's little fool. I don't even like business. I don't even like exercise. And I hate men telling me what to do. I'm going to the farm. And shove it up your ass. Oh, and um, I've lost all the directors, so I probably should go find them. Now, Broad, tell me how did the plays get on? We're an absolute disgrace and a bunch of fools. If I were you, Alan, I'd find lots of them. And if any of them tell you I'm not bored, it's all lies and blasphemy. Karen, tell me how did the sections get on? <laughs> well, Alan. <clears throat> I saw them singing something about wieners, and it was literally the most unprofessional thing I've seen in my life. Send them in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lord Sugar, we'll see you now. After having discussed with my advisors, I've heard that you've bought an array of ridiculous props, like a duck, a bowling pin, and a fluffy red cowboy hat. Quite frankly, I don't think any of you have taken this task seriously, so my producers will now take over the show to make sure it runs smoothly. And don't tell me it's not fair, because the only fair you're gonna get is your train fare home. You're all fine.